Hi guys, this is Helen from Rivina. Today I will show you how to set up your own home energy storage with our kit to reuse the old cells. These are all the old batteries removed from the LEAF 24 kilowatt hour battery pack along with the necessary accessories and tools for mounting the brackets. First install the bottom bracket, installation accessories and tools. Locate the front bracket and position it according to the hole positions shown in the diagram before installation. Start to install, rotate the bracket 90 degrees from the inside out. Tighten the two screws on the side. Adjust the side alignment and hole positions, then tighten the screws with a tool. After tightening all four screws on both sides, rotate the frame 180 degrees. Now install the accessories for the left and right side mounting brackets. Total there are four. Start to install. Here screw on one screw to secure it slightly. No need to tighten it completely. This will allow for easy adjustment of the position and installation of the base later. Start installing the rear bracket. As shown in the diagram, the side with the two holes connects to the side bracket. Similar to the size, first tighten one screw at the top and bottom to facilitate subsequent installation of the base. Tighten the screws. Secure with tools. Start installing the bottom roller bracket. First install the clips in the groove. Two buckles at each end. Adjust the position and install according to the direction. Secure with screws aligned with the holes. Large screw fixing bracket. Four small screws secure the recessed position at both ends. Check if the gap size and edge position are aligned. Then tighten all the screws with a tool. Flip and install the front roller bracket. If the gaps between the brackets are too large, loosen the screws at the back and adjust gaps until they are appropriate. Install the front roller bracket using the same method. Start installing the rollers. Tighten the four fixing screws. Tighten the four screws. Flip it over and install the front rollers in the same way. After the four rollers are installed, rotate the red retaining teeth counterclockwise. Rotate the rub head and the brick pad out. After adjustment, place the bottom bracket on the ground and adjust it again until it is in place. After all settings are complete, test the stability of the bracket. After the bottom bracket is completed, begin installing the battery according to the drawings. Install the batteries in the order shown in the diagram. 16 batteries are installed on one layer with the two end cells and the middle cell requiring batteries with knocking cloths. Fix batteries. Here you will need tools to separate the battery from the right side bracket by about 5 cm and then secure it with screws. The gaps facilitate later cable routing. Preparing to install the second layer of the bracket. Okay. 
after the bracket is installed, begin installing the battery. The number and order of the batteries are the same as in the first layer. Fix the second layer batteries. The same operation as the first layer, leaving gaps. Start installing the third layer of brackets. Start installing the third batteries. After all the three layers batteries were installed, start installing the panel section. These are all the necessary parts for the panel. First install the overcurrent PCB. Slightly align the four corner screws with the holes and secure them. A total of six pieces were installed according to their numbers. Here you need to loosen the battery's fastness slightly. After losing, adjust the gap between the batteries and the overcurrent PCB. All battery connections and the PCB contact gaps must be kept consistent after adjustment. Secure the batteries again after adjustment. The bottom two layers are adjusted and fixed in the same way. After adjustment, start fixing the overcurrent PCB. When installing screws, check that all screw holes are aligned. Mounting screws secure the PCB. Install only the holes that need to be installed, as shown in the diagram. Reserve screw holes for installing subsequent accessories. Install connecting piece. A total of four connecting pieces were installed. Start installing the front panel. After aligning with the holes, secure it slightly with screws. Rear panel installation. After aligning with the holes, secure it with the screws as well. Install the rear two size panels. The lower end is aligned with the batteries. As before, First, secure one screw for easy adjustment later. Install BMS. Fix BMS. Connect the right signal cable on the BMS. Connect the panel signal cable. Connect the temperature sensor signal cable. Insert the connector from the front into the BMS port. The plugs have four corresponding numbers, one, two, three, four. Corresponding sockets are numbered one, two, four from front to back. Insert the labels in order. Organize the wear harness. Plug in the plugs.
connecting wire harness, secure with screws. Connect all the wiring harness using the same method. Secure with clips. Install and connect the copper plates. Install BMS connection single cable. Organize the wear harness and wrap it with tubing. Install power cable. There are two wheels of different length here. Install the longer wheel harness first. Connect another short power cable. Install the red color power cable. After installation, organize the wearing harness. After all power cables and single cables are installed, turn on the panel switch. The SOC reading is 0%. The values are inaccurate and need to be calibrated. OK, now I will show you how to calibrate it. First, you need to download an app called Jikong BMS, this app. And then you need to turn on your Bluetooth. The Bluetooth on my phone is already turned on. OK. Then enter into the app. You can change the language here. Change into English and confirm. After you changed the language, you need to reopen the app. OK, now all is in English language. And now it's searching for the Bluetooth device. This is the list. Uh, this is our equipment, this one. We connect it. The pair password is one, two, three, four. Okay, pair it. Okay, now it's paired. For your device, there is a unique SN number on each JKBMS. This is the, your Bluetooth device name. 
find this name and then search for the Bluetooth device. Of course, you can also change the name if you need. The default password is 1234 if you want to change the name of the Bluetooth device. Okay, now the Bluetooth has been connected and uh, you can find all the parameters on the app, but uh, they need to be calibrated. First, click setting and uh, you need to verify the password. The password is 123456. Okay, verify it. And then, as we are using lithium iron battery, so select the lithium iron. Okay. Okay, then now we change the settings. The cell count is 12. As we are using uh, AP and 12S solution, and OK. And battery capacity for our battery is 350. You can also change to according to your actual battery capacity. OK, press OK to confirm. OK, now we change to the status. Now you can find the data on the screen and on the app are matched. After completion, tighten all screws on the panel and bracket. Install front transparent panel. Adjust the buckle to the corresponding hole position. After adjustment, install the fixing screws. After installation, a fix are all enabled in a suitable location. Finally, cover the top plate. Tighten the fixing screws. Now, all the installation is completed.